Hey guys, Echo Soundworks here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take an arpeggiated pattern that you create using the ARP inside of Logic, like this, and actually how to get that arpeggiated pattern to MIDI, to a brand new MIDI region, so you can then edit, manipulate, or even learn from it, right? So here is the ARP pattern that we have. And if I turn that off, it's just chords. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a new instrument track, just an empty instrument track, and you're going to copy and paste the ARP that you, you created in the first step to that new blank track. And then you're going to load up an external instrument. doesn't matter if it's mono or stereo. And you're going to select for the MIDI destination. You want to select IAC driver bus 1. And if that's not there for you, you just need to go to your audio MIDI setup. So just go here, type in audio MIDI setup. And then what you're going to do is... You're going to open that. You're going to go to your MIDI window. And in the MIDI window, I have it open down here, I believe. I can go to Window. We'll go Show MIDI Studio. See where it says IAC Driver. Double click that. And just make sure that it says Device is Online. Yours may be unchecked. If it is unchecked, just check it and hit Apply. Mine's already active, so I don't need to do that. All right, so now what we're going to do, you're going to take that MIDI region that you, you made in the first step and just drag it down to this track, okay? You're not going to copy and paste it. You're just going to drag it down. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to hit record. So you can see as I recorded that in or we hit record, it actually drew in what looks to be a arpeggiated pattern. So I'm going to move that over here for right now. There are the original chords from our original serum track. I'm going to drag that up to the original serum track. And now I'm going to take our arpeggiated pattern back here. I'm going to turn off the art because we don't need that anymore. And let's load up, well actually just let's copy and paste that first serum pattern patch over. So we're just going to hold down Alt Option and drag. So now this patch right here has no ARP on it. It's just a serum patch. And here's that arpeggiated pattern. And you can edit it until your heart is content. And you can actually, I, I like using this as a learning tool. I think you can see how arpeggiated patterns and sequences are put together in a plugin like Logic's art. There you guys go. Hope you found this useful. See you guys next time.